when you are looking at the landscape, we are moving our eyes constantly. So we have some kind of overview of it. And when you take a picture, it is always like only one of these hundreds and hundreds of eye movement you did when you were looking at the landscape. My technique of using these collages and using many, many, many different images to create a new image is maybe some kind of a translation of the way that we are looking at things. In the installation, you have a lot of different pictures from a lot of different places all around the world. Not only different places, but also different kinds of landscapes to cross a lot of images from volcanic areas and also pictures of architectural traces. It blends into one very rocky landscape in which you don't really recognize the scale or you don't really know where the horizon line is. I think you get a little bit lost into it. The point was to create something in which you don't really understand if it's some kind of a, a beginning when there was nothing in a way, or is it some kind of ending point? Time is something that I like to think about, but that is really hard to grasp. If you would ask me what beauty is, I would say light, and working in the dark room is really something. You're really working very directly with light. The first thing I do is just project the image and decide on what scale it will work best. And this is something that is really very important. What I'm using is not photographic paper that I buy, but it is drawing paper with liquid emulsion. And so in the beginning, I was really trying to make the perfect print, and that was really hard and it never worked. But after a while, I realized that, you know, everything that appears in the print is some kind of inspiration, is something that I cannot come up with myself, but it just happens and it's very inspiring. It's also the reason why I started painting, because the prints weren't perfect. I really believe that my way of working is some kind of action and reaction process so I do something something happens I have to react on it you have like this was not really sharp and here this is supposed to be black if it would come out of a printer it would be more one tone which is not so interesting in my opinion the photographs I put them together on that moment the image is still really very flat what is important to do then is to use paint to create something that is understandable. I have the opportunity on that moment to choose, okay, which parts do I have to erase? All the information that is printed, it's too much on the same depth. This is the beautiful thing about painting, is that it's like when you know a little bit how it works, it's a box full of tricks. <laughs> You can just erase things, you can decide which lines are going to be sharp, which is really important because a sharp line comes really close. If you just do the opposite, then it will look like the image is further away from you. So this is really something that works, that helps the viewer to understand, okay, what, what am I looking at? When you would depict a space, you never draw it in an exact way, I think. That's what painting is about. It's not doing exactly what's there, but it's trying to put on paper or on canvas what the essence is of what you saw and what you want to make understandable for the viewers. Reality is very different than what is depicted. And I think that most artists have this way of thinking and know that we make choices in a way. We select things and we erase other things. 